Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a updated makeup collection, so if you guys enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get started. Okay guys, so basically this is what I keep my makeup on. I'm going to just like put a picture, like insert a picture and like with the price and stuff just to show you guys what I use. So basically what I did is I got two of those and I stacked them on top of each other with Velcro strips. And that's how I like made like a very big like tall shelf. Basically starting off up on the top here, first I have this Christmas gin gingerbread house. I know Christmas is over now. It's literally January like 19th and I still have my Christmas stuff up, but it has all my jewelry in here. So it has like my rings and it has like my little earrings in here and I have like some Christmas earrings at the bottom down here. And then this little empty thing right here. I'm thinking about painting this pink because I want to redo my room pink. So I'm thinking about painting this pink and just having like, and instead of having this here, I'm going to put my jewelry in here instead. And then moving back here, I have like my light for when I film at night. I have my snowman back there, and then I have, like, my Vanilla Bean Noel lotion. Okay, so first in this top drawer, the first thing I have is this, my cellar water. This is actually empty. I just finished this off. Um, I honestly don't even really like my cellar water. I feel like makeup wipes are so much better, even though they're not really that good for your skin. Because with makeup wipes, you're constantly tugging and pulling and just rubbing on your skin. I had this one I tried out, and it burned my eyes so bad. I use up all of my cellar water so I don't waste them. And then soon I'm going to start buying makeup wipes again. But I have this spray bottle which I use for my hair every morning. That's why I just threw it up here. Next, I have these uh, Bath & Body Works coupons. Uh, I got these the other day, and I didn't want to lose them, so I just threw them up here in my top drawer. So, and then I just have, like, an empty ball, ba ball, bag of cotton balls, and, like, I promise you, these are just for, used for makeup. I didn't use them for anything else, but I do need to clean this top drawer out. And then I have back here just, like, some more my side water. I've actually just started using this one, and this one actually does not burn my eyes for some reason. I think it's maybe because it's for sensitive skin. I don't know, but this one doesn't burn my eyes as much as the other one did. And then I have the Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. I have this Nivea cream back here. I put this up here so I would use it more, and I still just never even use it. I, I'm going to have to put this in my purse or something, but this came with, like, a lip balm and I think, like, a lotion or something like that. And back here, I just have, like, some Q-tips and stuff. And then back here, I know this is disgusting, but I have these bobby pins. I don't know what happened to the package. It's just gross, so I'm sorry about that. And then I just have, like a spin brush up here which I don't even really use anymore and then I just have these simple cleansing facial wipes I'm just saving these for backups and once my micellar water is gone maybe I'll forget to buy like makeup wipes or something and I won't have my cellar water so these are just for use for backups in case I don't have anything to take my makeup off with so what I do for this makeup collection is take all of my palettes out move them on my bed and show you guys that way just because I feel like it's just so much harder trying to move around this one spot trying to open them with one hand and showing you guys so I, my one palette did break because I actually am refilming this because the other one was bad quality because of this was just so hard to move around in and I fell out my hand and it broke because like, I moved that palette and now all eyeshadows on my bed that's that's fantastic so starting off with the first palette I have the pro artist uh, eyeshadow and blush palette by style essentials this palette um, I honestly don't even really use this palette I haven't even tried the blushes I think I swatched every color the only color I did use is this one right here that's the, literally the only color I use everything else I honestly did not use um, and I only, again, swatched the blushes and that was it. It's actually my favorite palette out of my entire collection. This is the Impress You Beauty Glaze palette. This is the dupe to the Jaclyn Hell palette. But honestly, I love this one so much. And it's off of Amazon, I believe. And I really do love this palette. This is, again, my favorite palette, palette out of my entire collection. This palette, I see this in all of my makeup collections, but I don't know where this one is from. Um, my friend gave it to me. And the one that my friend that gave it to me, I texted her. She has no idea where um, it's from because she got it from her aunt's. So I have no idea where this is from or how much it is, but I actually love this palette so much. Um, I do use this palette a lot. I think this is like the last bigger palette that I have. So I have the NYX Beauty School Drop Off, Drop Off, Drop Out palette and Graduate. I actually got this one from the same friend that gave me that pink one. I still never got to really use this one. Made 35 eyeshadows and it has three blushes, two highlighters, and two bronzers. Fusion Warm Glam palette. Also, guys, I'm sorry about that stain. Now there's gonna be a makeup stain on it from the one that broke and. Yeah, I try to like wipe it off and yeah, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so I have the Profusion Warm Glam Palette. This is one of my newer ones. I got this on Black Friday, I believe, from Five Below. And I actually love this palette. I know it doesn't really look used because I don't really use it a lot, but I used it a few times and the few times I did use it, I absolutely loved it. This Golden Glam Palette. This is another one I got from Five Below a while ago. I actually really love this palette. I feel like this palette just has like your shimmers, it has your mattes, it has your bright colors, it just has everything. And I absolutely love it. This palette is from the same friend that gave me the NYX uh, Beauty School Dropout and the pink palette. This is the Revolution um, one and this is in Mermaids Forever. And this one I actually never even used yet either. One did break, um, 
but the rest of them are perfectly fine. And this first palette, these are all in the back of the drawer, and this first one is the Beauty Treats Modern Metallic Eye Collection one. This is another, another one of my newer ones. I got this, got this from Five Below on Black Friday also. I did use this one a few times, and it actually works amazing. I did use the purples the other day, because I was doing a purple look, and it worked so good. So I have this palette, which I actually need to start using more. That's why I even have it in my top drawer. My top drawer is mainly used for like things I need to use more, or my favorites, or just everyday kind of stuff. This next one I have is the Beauty Intuition Throw Shade Palette. Um, I'm sorry for like that brown stuff. I promise you guys, it's literally just from the sticker that I peeled off, and like some of it was left on there, and like dirt got on there, or like other makeup. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I promise you, that's all it is. I love this packaging. It's so pretty, and these are eyeshadows, but I do use I do use this for highlighter because it's just beautiful, especially for highlighter. And I do use this as eyeshadows also, but more for highlighter. And this palette is just so amazing. I stuck my nail in it accidentally the other day. Now this one literally just broke when I was filming this video the first time. Um, it was like hanging off, but then it literally like broke as soon as I picked it up. I don't know why, but this palette I use every single day. This is the Ulta Beauty palette. This came in in the beauty box. I love this palette. I'm going to like, I'm just going to take that off. I know it looks weird but um yeah i usually use these two colors every day right here this is the beauty intuition rockstar eyeshadow palette this one i actually never even used i had this for literally such a long time i only swatched it i never used it um i just don't think i'm ever going to use it maybe i'll use like the first six eyeshadows but i won't use anything like any of these dark colors but i think i only bought this to be honest for the packaging because this packaging is just so cool another one of my favorite palettes as you can tell it's for five dollars from five below i love this palette it's like my favorite it like moves I, I don't know i just really love this this is a smoke and mirrors gorgeous eyeshadow palette so beautiful um i just really really love this one i use this one every single day sometimes i will use this palette alone and i'll just use the framed flame envy twilight and midnight kiss or sometimes i'll mix those two eyeshadows from my ulta beauty palette and mix those five and i don't know i just really really love this palette my seven, I don't even think I even, like, showed you guys these yet. Did, I don't know if I showed you guys these at any of my other collections. I think I just, like, showed you guys the packaging in the box. But today I'm going to open them and show you guys them. So this first one is number one. This is my favorite one, but I know this one is broken. Um, and this is the Pink Dream. It has Peachy, Volcano, and Safaro. This is just, like, a pink palette, and I absolutely love it. Number two looks like this. I got these off of Amazon, by the way. This is the one that just broke, like, as I was filming. I have this one. I really love that gold sand color at the top up there. Like, another pinky kind of palette, which I actually love. I have, like, all the plastic still on these, if you guys can't really tell. I do still have all the plastic still on these. I don't know why. I just love these so much. I don't want to accidentally stick my finger in them or something, like I've been doing with my nails. This one, I think, like, once I redo my mirror pink, I should totally display this because I just really love them. Like, I do I don't use them as much as I would like to, but they are still amazing. That vampire color is also really pretty, and the crumble one. I love those. This is my other favorite palette. This is number seven. I really love this one also. I have my eyelash curler down here, and then I have a whole thing of mascaras. So I have like the Wet n Wild Mega Protein one. I use this one every day. I have the Rimmel London Volume Colorist. Um, I have LA Colors Bold Lash, and I have the Physician Formula. I use these for every single day. I have t um, two LA Colors ones. This one's like the older one. This one's the newer one that I just got for Christmas. I have two of these uh, Color Workshop uh, Extra Impact. And I have like all of these like little uh, Wet n Wild ones. I have the Mega Protein, uh, Mega Volume. I have two of the Mega Volumes. Um, the Mega Length. And this one I think is like the max one, the, yeah, max volume plus. I got those for Christmas. And then this one I just use for Vaseline. And then this one I think might be empty, I'm not sure. But I want to save these and give them, give like the wands to like the animal shelters or something. There's like this one website, I think I screenshotted it on my phone. And they like take like the wands of your old mascara, you just have to wash them and stuff and they use them for like the animals and stuff. So I might have to do that. And then, um, I had the re I have six of these Revlon Volume Amazing mascaras. These are another one of my favorite ones that the drawers look like, um, before I take it all out. But yeah, this is how, like, my drawer is set up here. So I think I'm just gonna start off with, like, the palettes that, are, that were, like, around everything. So the first one I have is this one. This is from, like, the dollar store. I think my sister gave it to me a long time ago. This one is actually amazing. I don't know what dollar store it was from. I know it was in the mall, though, and I think they actually got rid of the store. That was in the mall. 
um, but this is absolutely amazing. It's bro the Pro Fusion Spectrum Palette. Sister, actually, let my sister take this to school for something. She needed it for school for something, and the green one broke because she dropped it. I was so mad, but um, it's okay. It was only a palette, and I didn't really use that color anyway. I used more of like the like the yellow and the pink and the purple and stuff, so it's totally fine. I have my Beauty Intuition Ultimate Nudes eyeshadow palette. And this is the Shades of Love. I actually really love this palette. I just, I don't, I don't know, I just don't really use it. I don't know. Um, but I do still really love this. And I love, like, how, like, the little pans are hearts. I think that's so cute. But next I have this Beauty Treats Glitter Galore Luxe Collection palette. I don't use this. My friend, we were doing, like, a blindfolded makeup challenge, which I actually never even uploaded. And she stuck, like, her finger in the white one with the foundation. The Jessie's Girl palette. This is another one from Five Below. I actually hit the pan on this orange one. This is one I don't even really use that much because I do have that pink one. And I also have this Claire's one. This one I don't even really use either. I tried this once and there was literally no pigment to it at all. Palettes. One is from one is an eyeshadow palette and one's a contour palette. I think this one's eyeshadow. Yeah, the eyeshadow has like this little sticker. This is the one in E4001. Um, this one I think one of the shades broken here, I believe. Yeah. I do still have this on. But yeah, one of the shades broke. I don't even really use this palette, but like maybe I'll try it out again. I don't know. And I have the contour palette, which is like disgusting. I had this for so long. Next I have the Smoke and Mirrors Marble Pro Glow Kit comes in bright and bubbly suntan and pink icing. Love that. Workshop Radiant Blush and Highlight Collection. This one's actually so beautiful. I think I got this for Christmas last year. The highlights in here are absolutely amazing. I don't, my gosh. One used to be my sister. She gave it to me because like I got so into makeup. I think this might have been the first ever eyeshadow palette I got. And these are for my parents. So the highlight in here, these are absolutely disgusting because I had them for such a long time. But there's just so much memories that come along with them. I don't know. This is just disgusting. Um, and all these pans are, like, falling out. That's how old this is, guys. Um, but these, these was, this was actually really, really pigmented in the highlight in here, guys. The highlight was amazing. I actually used it all. The hers, because she knew I loved them so much. And I actually used her highlight, too. This one's just, like, my eyeshadows. Like, my little mini ones. So, first I have the Color Mode LA Colors eyeshadow palette. I have the LA Colors Flashy eyeshadow palette. If I can open it. I love these glitters in here. I think they're so beautiful. I have the LA Color Stylish Palette. This and I only I use the purple in here. I just used this the other day. I swatched it, but I did just use a purple in here the other day, and the purple is absolutely amazing. I love it, and I definitely use that palette more. I have the LA Colors Glitter Palette. This one I actually just got for Christmas, so I didn't even use it yet. This one looks like I, again I didn't get to use it yet because I just got this for Christmas. I have these two Wet n Wild limited edition glitter eyeshadow palettes. I have the one in Ethereal, and this one is in Neutral. I'm gonna open these both so you guys can see them. I feel like these are just—I feel like these are just so beautiful. And this teal one, I think, and this one up here I actually used before, and it's just so amazing. This is so disgusting. I'm so sorry. I have the LA Colors nude, and this one is in Bare All. This one broke. I don't know. And then I have this LA Colors one, and this one is in Fling. This one actually works amazing. I got, um, this definitely reminds me of, like, Spring and Summer, and this is, like, looks I will definitely do in Spring and Summer. I just love it so much. Some single eyeshadows down here, so I have the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the one. I love this one. I got this for a giveaway, and I love it so much. And this, I think it's my only, like, ColourPop thing in here. I have my LA Colors uh, Shimmering eyeshadow. This is in Honeysuckle. I have this color concept one. This one's so old. Oh my gosh. This is just used as memories though. I don't think I would ever put this on my eyes because I got this when I was really, really young. And then I got, uh, and then next I have this like Wet n Wild glitter eyeshadow and spiked. When I did get this, this was new, but it's not really new anymore. And this is what this one looks like. And then last but not least, I have these Sinful Color Shade Boss little single eyeshadows. So this first one I have, I don't even know how to say that. I honestly don't know how to even say that but that's like the shade or whatever i'll show you guys them first and then i'll like open them and this one's in lusty this one's broken but this one's my favorite one this one is in proud these are so hard to focus i don't know why they're not focusing and then i have this one which is in flaunt that one i obviously cannot open this one i want to start using as a blush i didn't really like it as an eyeshadow but i feel like for a blush it might look really really beautiful this one 
I really actually liked for my eyes, but this one can maybe also be used as a highlighter. I don't know. I always try to figure out things I can use these for, like eyeshadows and stuff for, because I don't normally go for like the single eyeshadows. I usually go for palettes. Um, and then I just have this, and this one, I think, is, this, is the word holographic? It has like a little blue tint to it. My nail just dug into this one too. I almost forgot to show you guys this, but basically this is just like lip stuff I use. My storage ran out, but this I love. If I didn't really say anything about it. This one is the LA Colors lipstick. This one's in Natural Shine. I, I have these Riva ones. One's in Strawberry, one's in Watermelon, I believe. This is a Nivea one I was talking about that came with the hand cream in my top drawer. This is a Spring Collection by LA Colors. This is my favorite one I use all the time. I have a lot of these uh, smoke and mirrors ones. These are lip oils. I've I've loved these ones so much. I've been really into lip oils, and I think these ones actually got me into lip oils. I have like these ones. I have a mint one in my purse. This is the Broadway uh, lip oils. This is the rose hip one. Oils from Ulta. I love these lip oils. So this one, I don't even know. This one just has a whole bunch of random stuff in here. I'm not going to really take this one out. Because I'm not going to really show you guys what's in here. Because I don't even really use anything in here. I just have like these like sugar lips and like eyeliners and stuff. These are for my Ulta collection. Uh, these are just like my older brushes. I have like some like face stuff in here. Which I will show you guys since I do use it. And that's just stuff I don't use back to like my older palettes, eyelashes. This next door is just like a wreck. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. But um... It's just all my face stuff. It's just literally a wreck. And then this one down here is literally just like all my perfumes and lotions and stuff. Mostly Bath and Body Works. It's literally just like um, brushes and stuff. So I have these ones which I got from my friend for Christmas. My friend also gave me the same friend. Her name's Natalie. She got me like the NYX Beauty School Dropout thing and like the pink palette and things like that. She also got me these for Christmas with all of these brushes. My sister got me these brushes for Christmas. Um, I, I just had these beauty blenders back here. And then I'm not going to show you guys anything down from here because everything is just... Maybe I'll show you one other thing, but up here I just have, like, a glitter uh, mask which I just got from Dollar Tree, guys. This is absolutely amazing and I really do recommend this. I love it. This is a glitter peel-off mask. I absolutely love that. This little sign that says love never fails. I have a palette back there, which I will show you guys. And I have this pink bag just that, that just has, like, straws and stuff in it. And I have, like, these little drawers over here. So I have, like, some samples in here. Like, my Look Better Naked. I have, like, a Nexus anti-frizz sheet. I like some oil, which this actually came with three different things, but I did use the other two. I have my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I have a lot of stuff in the bathroom because I use them to shower, obviously. And that's one I do use. I got two of them. I have L'Oreal Hydrogenous. I have this uh, V or something like that. I don't even know. This Vinci one. Fringe gel and like just like random stuff in here. Cetaphil or Cetaphil. A little mini uh, sample size lotion moisturizer Cetaphil stuff. <laughs> These ones are just like hand lotions. Sorry about this thing right here. I'm so sorry. And this is just like, just like random stuff like lotions, like my little eye roller, a little face shaver, uh, lip scrubs are down here. Just so you guys, this is the stuff that I just like went through quickly. So I'm going to show you guys the, the, like the stuff that's in the drawer that I actually do use. This little thing of like face stuff, like uh, foundations and stuff. So I have two of these LA Colors liquid makeups. This is LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. I have like um, some BB cream in here, moisturizing foundation. Um, some concealer. This is the LA Colors Concealer. Conceal it. Conceal it. I'm sorry. Another LA Colors Concealer. And then I just have, like, two powders back here from LA Colors. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, by the way. My data, not my data, my storage is about to run out. So, it keeps on running out, so that's why I'm trying to talk so fast. And then this one is from my friend. This is the friend that gave me, like, the pink palette and, like, the NYX Beauty School Dropout palette and, like, I think the Revolution, the one that got me the cups and the brushes and stuff. This is her. Her name is Natalie. She's pal for Christmas. So, the first there's, like, so first on the front there's, like, a picture of us and then it's, like, a marble back. I actually really want to make a lot of these and have, like, a whole collection. That's why I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my makeup. So, I can just make a lot of these and, like, have a whole collection of just, like, my palettes, I guess. I have, like, up here there's, like, a mirror and it says Merry Christmas, Hannah. I'm not going to really show you guys that. And then just, this is just things I love. So, I have, like, Taco Bell, wires. Um, Dollar Tree, Hoski, that's what I call her because she calls me Broski, so I call her Hoski. My dog's name is Bandit. And then this one right here, which I'm covering, that's my boyfriend's name. I don't want you guys to know until we actually start filming our video and stuff. So he's going to introduce himself and stuff. So but yeah, it's my boyfriend's name, which I, which I spelled wrong, but it's okay. And his favorite color is orange, so just, so just put orange in there. New one to my collection, this is the Profusion Celebration Palette. Oh my gosh, guys, this one is just absolutely amazing so it comes with the brushes i just used um the other day 
It comes with an eyeliner, and this, this palette, guys, is just so beautiful, and it comes with a highlight, two blushes, and a bronzer. I literally just ended this video and totally forgot to show you guys what was in here. So this just has, like, bronzers and highlights and stuff in here. So first I have this Larica Beauty um, dual eyeshadow. This is an opal. And the black in here I actually just tried yesterday, and it works so amazing. I have some liquid highlighters, which I don't even really use liquid highlighters anymore. I used to be, like, be obsessed with them. I have the S&M Sunlight one, and I have the LA Colors Candlelight one. I have like these body ones, so I have the Iridescent, the Iridescent Glow Stick by Smoke and Mirrors, and then I have a Sinful Colors uh, Glow Potion Highlighter Stick thing. This LA Colors Bronzer and Bronzer, <laughs> LA Colors Bronzer and Bronze Beauty. This one's just so beautiful. My nail dug in this, into this one too. I have this Bronze Diva Mary Kay bronzer, which that's my favorite bronzer. I have this Color Workshop bronzer, which that one's also broken. I have the Color Workshop blushes. I have my favorite blush. This is the LA Color Shimmer Blush. I have the City Color Shimmer Highlight. LA Color's Face Loose and Body Shimmer. Elf Blush Gems Highlighter.